Hey guys, what is up? Dave here making a new data recovery tutorial for you guys. The little quirks of data recovery are becoming more and more important every day and I want to share the things I learn at work with you guys just like I've always done because this could help somebody in like a Facebook group like I'm hoping this video does. So somebody posted in one of the Facebook groups I'm a part of that they need help getting user data off of a Motorola. This Motorola does power on and go to recovery which tells me that's probably just a firmware issue and maybe that using this technique that I'm teaching you right now will actually get this device to boot into full Android. If there are other hardware issues, this might not work, but you want to save the user data. They were trying to do it from the SD card with Motorola's. I've never had that work. Um, I have also never had apply from ADB work and you definitely don't want to wipe data and factory reset because that will erase all the user data. So what you instead need to do is go to en-us.support.motorola.com and you need to download the Rescue and Smart Assistant tool. Just scroll down to the bottom of the page, click download, run the installer, and once the installer is done, you want to open it up. You will have to create a Lenovo ID user account. Once you create that account, you can log into the software. It'll remember you forever. And one of the most important things, at least that I found, is you want to change the download location of these files. This original download location for these files is in a really annoying place. It's in Program Data, uh, RSA, Download. I don't like it being here. So I changed it, and you can change it as well by going up to this top bar, clicking the little cloud download arrow, and clicking Change. I put it in my documents, Motorola, and then click OK, and it creates the rest of the folders for itself. Now you need to get the firmware. So the easiest way to get the firmware is have the phone turned off completely, then hold both volume buttons and plug in your USB cable. That will take you straight to the bootloader. If you are on this screen, you can actually just go to reboot to bootloader or enter fast boot and that should take you to the proper screen. If it's not the proper one, the tool will tell you and you can just reboot using hardware keys to get back to the correct mode. Now there are some things this might not work on. If there is a system corruption, this might not fix this. If there is a big jump in Android version, let's say from Android 10 to Android 12, this might not fix this because it might not recognize the data encryption from Android 10 when going to 12. Same with even going from 10 to 11. This might not fix it. Even going from 8 to 8.1 might have an issue, but it should at least clear itself up during the install process. If there is a hardware issue, like I said, like with the NAND flash being terribly done on these phones, a lot of Motorola's are kind of cheaply made. This might not work. All you can do is really try, but we can see this phone at least turns on, which means this method might work. So what you want to do is you want to download the firmware. Now it's going to take a while. Thinks I have it. That's funny. Is it? Okay, it is downloading. It's funny that there's not a progress bar here, but it is downloading. <laughs> Let me see if I click. Yeah, it's downloading. Yeah, I can see it going. It's 700 megs. This file is about 2.3 gigabytes in size, but it will download. And once there's button right here that says downloading changes to rescue, do not click it. Don't click it under any circumstances because that's going to erase user data. And I'm going to show you how to avoid that. The most important stuff to a customer usually in a repair setting is their data. If you tell them you broke their iPhone beyond the point of being able to repair it in your own shop and they don't have everything backed up on uh, a computer or iCloud, they're going to be very upset. If you get somebody who wants their data off of their old Android Motorola phone that they got for free from Verizon but it's in this state, you want to save their data but at least make it boot. If you see it goes to recovery, like I said, it might actually work and all you need to do is flash the firmware to clear up some form of Android system corruption. So we're going to wait for it to extract. And there's one very important file in this folder that I will show you in a second. So we are at the rescue point now. What you want to do is open up this folder. 
you want to open up flash file dot xml and this is a lot easier if you have something like notepad plus plus or sublime um, in regular notepad you can do this as well but it just kind of looks really ugly and is really difficult unless you like full screen it and turn on word wrap you can do it in here but i recommend notepad plus plus just easier to use overall so edit in notepad plus plus you'll see there's three things down here at the very bottom that say erase partition erase partition erase partition this is to clear ram i believe i believe that's what ddr is if i'm wrong let me know uh, erase carrier this is just like uh, cellular carrier stuff and it, the most important erase user data user data is what you don't want to erase so you can actually go in simply delete these three lines control s to save it and then the one really important thing that i always do in this situation is right click properties read only and apply if you mark it as read only the motorola app can't delete it and the Motorola app can't overwrite it to suddenly put those three lines of code back to tell it to erase those three things. You don't want any of that to erase. And then all you want to do from there is just simply click rescue. I don't know what's on this phone if I'm going to erase it. So I'm actually not going to click this button, but at this point it's completely normal just flashing the firmware. When it's done, it gives you a progress bar and keeps you up to date and tells you what's going on. Once it's done, you'll know and it'll attempt to reboot itself into Android. If the boot process still fails and it takes you back to recovery, it takes you to bootloader, you might have a hardware issue on your hands or you might unfortunately have to format data just to make the phone work and turn on because of some of the reasons I said before earlier in this video, like hardware issue, uh, data encryption not matching up with the Android version, or just some other form of corruption or hardware failure that might exist in the phone. So, or potentially for some reason it downloaded the wrong firmware, but I've never had this rescue tool download the wrong firmware on me. If somebody has ever messed with rooting on the phone, that might also mess with uh, downloading the correct firmware information or making it boot or even flash I've seen it yell at me for that I don't know if it will all the time but other than that that's really all you need to know for flashing firmware and doing a potential data recovery for a customer so let's say I did flash it it'll boot as you can see off go away mine's gonna boot I think <laughs> I've never, I haven't turned this thing on in probably seven months. But at this point, it'll reboot. It's all done. You're all good to go. And hopefully you have your customer's data back. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys learned something. Peace out.